Does size matter? Of course, in relation to a monitor. Now behind me, I have got two monitors running the same 1080p signal, one of which is 27 inch and the other one is 24.5 inch. Now in this video, which has been kindly sponsored by Philips, I'll be covering everything you need to know about pixel density and furthermore, the ideal resolution and also the monitor size that you might be wanting to aim for. So to kick off, I would like to point out why I'm actually doing this video. And that's because a lot of people have asked me in the past, would you actually buy yourself a 27 inch 1080p monitor? And my reply has always been, it's quite subjective. And it really depends as to your overall use case. Now, first off, pixels per inch or PPI or pixel density is effectively the pixels that you can see in a singular square inch of a panel. Now, let me give you an example. You're looking at a 1080p monitor, 1920 by 1080 to be more specific, and you're looking at a 24.5 inch form factor. That is the panel size itself, not the overall monitor. Here, you're looking at a 90 PPI or just below it. If, however, you're looking at a 27 inch 1080p monitor, the PPI drops to 82. Now, effectively, this means that the lower the PPI is, the more pixels you might be able to see on your screen at a given distance. Of course, this does differ. If you look at modern televisions, they often are running at a 4K resolution, and yet they sit at a size of 55, 65, or even larger. But then people do not complain about PPI. Rather, people who are looking at the PC monitor market are seem to be a lot more accustomed to it. And frankly, that is because you're looking at text clarity rather than, than things that are moving on your screen. For example, movies, your terrestrial TV, or indeed if you're just watching some YouTube videos like this one. Text clarity is something that is very important to a PC monitor. Specifically, if you're looking for a monitor for productivity's sake, then here the lower the PPI might actually hamper your overall experience. Now, with that in mind, I do think it's extremely important to re-emphasize that a monitor's size is very subjective and personal. And indeed, over here, you'll see certain people preaching on the internet for a certain resolution and size, when in reality, their circumstances might be different from yours. Now, for me to further explain, what I'm going to try and say over here is that let's say if you've been using a 1080p 27-inch monitor for numerous years, and yet here, the internet is telling you to get something between 22 to 25-inch. But if you're going to get that, you might actually find yourself a little bit less comfortable because the monitor is smaller and therefore the productivity is not as good and equally your overall gaming immersion might not be quite there. But of course, you might get accustomed to it and then suddenly realize that the overall pixel density is far better on a smaller screen and specifically at that resolution. Now, for me to break it down, I'll be showing you the different resolutions and also looking at the different monitor sizes. First off, we're looking at 1920 by 1080, in other words, 1080p. And you can see here that the PPI does drop as we go up the scale. And in my opinion, the sweet spot actually does sit at 24.5 inch with a PPI of just shy of 90. Here, for example, we've got the Philips Evnia 25 M2N 3200W, a 1080p 24.5 inch 240 hertz VA panel. And indeed over here, text clarity looks fantastic. Now, as we shift to 2560 by 1440, in other words, 1440p, you can see over here that the size of the monitor does differ. Now here, my sweet spot is 27 inch, which has a PPI of 108.79. Here, the likes of the Philips Evnia 27M2C 5500W, which sports a 27 inch 1440p 240Hz VA panel is absolutely ideal. Now, a lot of people on the market will actually be screaming for a 24 inch or 25 inch 144TP monitor. And that's actually because they really love the increased PPI. And that is again, going back on what I was saying in terms of what they've been accustomed to. They've come from 1080p, in other words, 24 to 25 inch, and now are looking at a 1440p monitor. Now, nonetheless, let's talk about another resolution, and that is 4K, or more specifically, 3840 by 2160. Indeed, over here, you can see that the PPI is a lot higher, specifically at the higher size of the market. But nonetheless, over here, I would recommend between 32 to 42 inch. Taking the latter, for example, we've got the Philips Evnia 42 M2N 8900, which sports a 41.54 inch form factor, 4K, 138 Hz, and an OLED display. 
Now this indeed will give you great use for productivity, but indeed over here might not actually be a custom for those people using it quite close on their desk. Now, just as a honorable mention, you've also got 8K 55 inch monitors, and you can see here that the PPI drastically increases, pretty much doubles over 4K, which is no surprise given the resolution of 7680 by 4320. Now, as for the ultra wide market, it is a bit different because here you have got different form factors. For example, a 49 inch 3840 by 1080, or indeed a 34 inch monitor that has 2560 by 1080. And indeed, over here, you can see that the PPI is actually very similar. Nonetheless, over here in the ultra wide market, my sweet spot is 3440 by 1440, and indeed a 34 inch form factor. This gives you a PPI of 109.68. And indeed over here, my favorite gaming monitor that I've reviewed to date is the Philips Evnia 34 M2C 8600, which sports a 34 inch 1440p ultra wide format at 175 Hertz and has a stunning OLED display. Now with all that in mind, is the pixels per inch actually something very important to you? Well here I've got a 27 inch and a 24.5 inch monitor. And comparing the two, while looking at them at the same sort of distance, I felt myself gravitating towards the 24.5 inch form factor, because the overall text clarity looked better. I'm not sure if my camera was able to properly pick it out, but you'll just have to take my word for it. But what about when it came to gaming? Well here in this respect, the 27 inch monitor indeed looked a little less clear in comparison to the 24.5 inch form factor, but the differences were pretty much negligible. Indeed in this respect, I would actually take into account as to what I mentioned before, what you're accustomed to and indeed what you feel more comfortable with. For example, if you want a bit more of that immersive experience, actually a larger monitor might give you that, specifically again, if you're gonna be gaming. Now you have also got Windows scaling options. Now these were set at 100% on both these monitors. And indeed over here, if you're looking at a larger or indeed a higher resolution monitor, specifically for example, 4K or ultra wide, you will also want to play around with the window scaling option. My personal favorite in 1440p and a 1080p is 100%. However, at a 4K resolution, I actually look at 125 to 150%. But some people out there I know will actually like to use their window scaling at 100% and therefore all their icons will look very sharp, but indeed also very small. So in summary, the larger the monitor, the lower the PPI at the same resolution. There's no right or wrong answer. It really depends as to what you're looking for. And I'll be curious to know what it is down in the comment section below. Now, if you've liked this detailed video and want to see more from myself and the channel, definitely do consider dropping a like, subscribing and hitting that bell notification, all of which would be greatly appreciated. As such, I've been totally dubbed and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.